another edition of Hemberry Farm where if it's not one thing, it's another. So now Rambo has gone and torn apart his other girl. And I've got to doctor her up. Freaking Rambo. He certainly has earned his name. So I have two beat chickens out there with Rambo who is half Cornish Rock and half Plymouth Rock. And if you remember a few vid two videos back, I titled it 20 Stitches. And he had ripped open the backside of one of his girls because he's just either riding her too much or too hard. Um, so now I went out there this evening to do my chores. And what's he gone and done? ripped open the other girl so i have the first chicken in this little pen here in front of the turkey coop because i had wrapped her four times and three times he took off the bandages from just rough housing and i screw it They're, she's gonna go recover somewhere else so now that he's torn up the other girl, they're both in the same box. And uh, once I put her in there, I heard them talking to each other. They're probably saying, you know, that guy's such a jerk. He likes it rough. So now I have to go stitch her up. Poor thing. Of course, I'm all low on battery, so my flash won't work. But here they are. So here's the first girl. She's wrapped up for the fourth time. And here's the new girl. And you can see right here is where he's dug into her. I'll bring her into the light in just a moment. This is awful. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to tape up his feet and remove his... I don't think he's got very long spurs because he's a young rooster. Uh, so I might, if he's got spurs, I'm going to put vet wrap on them. I got vet wrap coming on Monday. You know, I ordered off Amazon, like uh, 36 vet wrap rolls, and it was prime delivery next day. Right. It's taking eight days to get here. Very disappointed. Come on, Jeff Bezos. Get your Amazon employees back in line. Oh, that's right. You laid off. 25,000 employees. Okay. All right. This is just beyond ridiculous. Uh, here's what he's done to her so far. Looks like we have a previous wound. So I'll clean that up. Then on this side, he's ripped, ripped the skin open. I can't stitch this because that flesh underneath there needs to be uh, cleaned out and uh, air dried. Uh, I need to make sure there's no infection brewing in there. So, and I'm out of vet wrap. I'm going to have to wrap her in just regular uh, white bandage and some uh, tape. Okay, well, first, first things first, clean her up. I'm going to moisten all the uh, wound area, try and get it nice and soft so I can clean it out. I'm also going to cut the feathers away from the area. Okay, so I'm rinsing it off with saline solution. I found another wound down here. Rinsing off the other side. And there's another wound up here. This side is cleaned up as I'm going to get it. Um, that dark spot up top is scab growing over the flesh. The actual muscle and the whiteness in this split here is also 
skin that's or flesh that's healing um it's all rinsed down and i've been spraying with hydrogen peroxide and uh, now i'm gonna douse it with some iodine and then put some some of this neosporin don't worry i've got 30 other tubes because <laughs> things like this happen all the time here and uh I just want to be prepared, so I have lots of Neosporin. Not to mention, Buckshot still needs it for his back. So he gets washed down every day in a little bit of Neosporin on that. Um, but it keeps getting ripped open when Darla and him force around, but I've been doing my best to try and keep them separated, but in the morning they just like to play so I can't let them not have fun right so I already doused her down with the iodine which is the orange stain and I have gobs of this neosporin stuff on her and then I'll wrap her up okay I have her wrapped up on both sides and I don't have the vet wrap so I can't really wrap her the way I want to uh, however I am NOT going to put her back in with Rambo not for a couple days actually not for not for a while um, let her and her sister heal up and then before I put them back in with Rambo I'm seriously gonna consider wrapping his feet. Um, we'll see what happens, but she's gonna go back outside right now. She's gonna go back outside now with her sister, and uh, they can cuddle together because it's gonna be a cold night. Um, and then we'll check on her in a couple days. All right, update on um, this chicken. Who had her back ripped open and I didn't have the appropriate uh, vet wrap to wrap her and she's by herself torn off the, the wrapping so here's the first chicken and her wrap is stayed on because I've separated her wrap I've wrapped her for the fourth time is she shaking why is she shaking it's not that cold out here for a chicken okay and this chicken right here is the one that had the bad wrapping because I didn't have the vet wrap, that pink tape, that pink tape. So I'm gonna pull her out and redress her wounds. I can see that the scab over there is, is this gonna focus? It's not gonna focus. So the scab up here, um, it's kind of healing and down here, is still kind of black I'm actually gonna treat her outside today on my table on my my uh, favorite place to be table underneath my pagoda cuz I'm still working on um, this project here where I'm going to put a fence around the whole perimeter of my little pad here because the sheep like the shit all over it um, so my washer which is where you, usually where I treat all my uh, chickens is full of tools right now and I don't want to move all the tools and it's just easier to uh, come out here and work on the table and plus I got a lot more room but, um, but it's cold so and there's one thing I can't stand is having a cold neck and cold ears. So you get to witness me in all my glory. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I got her on the table and Buckshot wants to eat her. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna kind of stand back for a minute cause I know she's gonna want to poo. And let me tell you, Buckshot go. Chicken poo, not only does it stink, but meat chickens, or horrible tenfold grossness um, 
Yeah, it, it'll make you gag. Right, Keith? <laughs> uh, he got a whiff of this last time and he about <laughs> threw up. Uh, that was pretty... That was about the funniest thing I've ever seen him do. Hi, Julian. Hi, Hansel. Jack. Hi, buddy. I love these boys. Cuphead bear. These birds are so handsome. I just love these birds. Okay, back to her. So I'm going to undress her and see what we got to deal with. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, her wounds are... Well, they are healing. That's good. I'm glad to see that. Yeah? But this one is too scabbed over. These are too scabbed over. I was nervous to, to stitch her up last time because they were kind of infected but <clears throat> you know I can't stitch that up because of the scab and the possible infections that might be there but the only thing I can do with her is just to treat the wound with um, you know hydrogen peroxide saline solution to soften it up and then some more anti um, iodine and then along with my ever so famous Sheffield Sheffield antibiotics 88 cents still go stock up <laughs> Julian Jack you're being quiet I sprayed her pretty well with the hydrogen peroxide and she's not bubbling up so it tends to lead me to believe that the healing is well underway. Still tender, but still needs to be covered. So I have this side um, covered with Neosporin, and I'll place another pad down on here and then start wrapping her. Okay, now here comes the hard part, the wrapping. Well, she stood through that pretty easily. Now here comes the hard part, putting the vet wrap on. I bought 36 rolls of this vet wrap, and I think it was about $20 off of Amazon. Could be wrong, but I think it was about $20. Um, TSC didn't have any, and uh, they, they said they hadn't had any for quite a while. So any of you out there that uses vet wrap and your local um, TSC or co-op doesn't have any, get some and stock up from Amazon or something, because th these are a staple in my um, medicine cabinet, definitely. Finally, my vet wrap came in. 36 rolls. And I got all kinds of colors. So this is definitely a staple in this house. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it. <clears throat> if, you're, if you're a homesteader, or a farmer, small-time farmer, and you got animals, that is going to be your saving grace sometimes. Well, I'm surprised. She sat through that without any kind of flight or trying to poop on me. I've got her back completely covered. This is where the injuries were. And I've got her wrapped up here on the bottom and got enough room there for her little butt. So she doesn't poop all over the other one. You all right there? Are you ready to go back in with your sister? Okay, I'm gonna put her back with her sister over there. Um, and I've got, I've actually got Rambo out loose because I've had him 
locked up in his cage all by himself. Hi, Rambo. He's a good looking rooster. But, uh. He's a horny little devil. But, uh, look at his feet. Hmm. I may have to cut those claws. Because I don't see his spur. His spur is just a little nub. So it's got to be just his claws. Hi, Jack! Can I have a hug? Oh, he's my... He's my turkey! My turkey! Always makes me feel better hugging on my turkey. Julian, Julian won't let me hug him. Watch. Come here, Julian. Come here, Julian. Alright, I gotta put this poor chicken back in her little cage with, with her sister. She's just kind of sitting out here on the table. You ready to go in? Alright. I'll check on her in a couple days. I'll leave a link below for the vet wrap should you want to order yourself some. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Have a great afternoon, evening, morning day, whatever, whenever you happen to be watching this. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thank you.